All right, we're back with more Blade Runner. We've got the wonderful tunes of Blade Runner playing in the background. Oh, man, that is some soothing stuff. That'll knock me right to sleep. Let's hit the rack. Portrait of the sleep deprived. I feel you, brother. Whoa. Got your delivery, am I? <laughs> uh, what? Kingston Kitchen. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, yes. I got your right. pizza and I spirit. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? I want one of those. Oh, no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real company. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say got predator hair. <laughs> Please, can you control your rat? <laughs> I'll have you know that Ricky's a pure Oh god! god. Oh and no! Totally real. Why? Things going good at Tyrell Corporation. Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never What's shuts wrong with up. You also do outside work. Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? He knows a lot about glands. I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand oh. the good if it holds deep meaning for me now. Where be your research on Nexus 6? I need test studies, contacts, the works. Only simulator. Oh. Extra terrestrial gravity. For one more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more oh my minutes, god, look at his thumbs. He's, you off the true life He's got weenie thumbs. Tom. Oh, I swear. I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. His thumbs are like a half a foot long. I don't know. The organ designers. Uh, Mirage, oh, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance. They're closer to him than I am. I'm gonna hit you with this bread. DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. You one miserable package man. That's right. No, no, please, oh jeez. <laughs> Jesus, homeboy rolls hard. Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Uh no. Very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry, I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. <laughs> Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break at it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the run center deal or not. Tyrell security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Okay. Be good dude who's giving me my job all right so we've got a new case let's see we can't click on the TV uh, oh you know what we can do is a save and that would be back to all right let's head out let's go say goodbye to our Maggie sweet come here girl Oh, don't do that. You're going to get stuck in the hallway with her. And that is one slow-acting dog. Okay, get out of the way. There we go. So let's hit the roof and we'll head on down to the Tyrell Corporation. Which is one of the... Uh, uh, just like the music of Blade Runner, just will instantly bring Blade Runner to me. The visuals of the Tyrell Corporation. Uh, it's a building that I've never seen anything else like it in a film. I don't even know what it is about this building that just... Maybe it's the way it just stands above the rest of the skyline. But uh, the image of that building always brings this movie back to life. There it is, right here. Decided not to sleep at the wheel this time, buddy. Ooh, pretty. McCoy, LPD. 
Uh, just a minute. Where do I go? Grav test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. Huh. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendoller ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. All right, is there anything? Okay, you can leave. I don't want to do that. I talked to him yet? Anyway. One more thing. I've told you everything I know, Detective. I gotta work. These monitors don't watch themselves. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough gig. Yeah, man. Don't work too hard. I see there's football on that one. All right, let's look at we what we got here. We got factory bombing. Okay, so there's the moon bus. I checked with UN Air. Looks your rep swung that moon bus massacre last month. They ever find the moon bus? Disappeared into th one of Tyrell's employees got his. Okay, there it is. That's the disc. That'll have some more photos to look at. Factory bombing. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Conducting the interrogation of Spencer Gregorian, leader of CARS, Citizens Against Replicant Slavery. November 22nd, 2019. I once again asked that my attorney... Shut it, shitbird. <laughs> I'm Jesus. asking the questions. <laughs> We've already put you on the machine, so we know you're not a skin job. That term offends me. Okay, offends so me you're too. not one it of those filthy. biomechanical scumbags. And you claim to not know anything about the bombing at Tyrell. This is true. We advocate equal rights under the law for replicants. We have nothing against Tyrell Corporation for creating them. That's some sick logic. The replicants are living <laughs> organisms, whether That's people so like you like it or magic. not. Replicants contribute greatly to the economic well-being of our culture. They cannot be discounted as such. Hell, it'd be no skin off my nose if each and every one of them was hosed down for good. You ever Jesus. see this guy? White. Yes. Actually, I have. He was present at the protest. He's not part of our group, but outsiders are usually welcome. How many new faces showed up that day? Not too many. A handful at most. Describe them to me. I don't know if I can. Oh no. Recording off. Oh jeez. Somebody got somebody got violent. Crystal is a uh, an odd bird. Describe them to me again. Just the Rastafarian fellow, <laughs> and that that friend of his. A slim blonde man, Asian, with a ponytail. Can I see my attorney? Bravo, Spencer. You've done your civic duty for the day. Something tells me there might have been some Nexus 6 at that. Alright, so she's working a uh, factory bombing. Alright, let's head upstairs. Aha. That's pretty neat. Look, like an anti-grab chamber. Alright, what do we got? What's this? The earring was shaped like an hey. insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. And you are a picky guy when it comes to jewelry, aren't you? Uh, where would that be? It's some kind of insect. Yeah, she had an anklet like that. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but yeah. it looked like junk to me. Very interesting. All right, what else we got? What's this? It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series. The kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for the new entertainment model. A comedian designed to entertain the troops off-world. Oh yeah? Can we take a look at it? It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series. The kind of... Anything out here? Doesn't look much like anything. All right, let's head in. Jesus. There's stuff everywhere. I've seen worse, but not by much. What the hell is that noise? Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. Gross. But his feet and legs apparently are nice and solid. What the hell is that noise? 
a takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Yeah, man, Kingston Kitchen. I really like the that guy. Dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe. Ricky. The dog collar has a name on it. Rick Kingston Kitchens. Where have I heard? Okay. Aw, it killed the dogs. Look, I know they were yap yaps, but still. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. That makes me kind of sad. All right. I guess we can just go click on the body. Let's this go. This hearing see. yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here. The babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Crystal. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face. You're liable to end up with a severe limp. Yeah, something tell me Crystal would have, like, roofing nails for earwings. Earwings? What the hell am I talking? You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not oh, just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull Ew. told the whole story. The killer was an expert. The charge had been big enough to do the job, but not big enough to shatter the soundproof walls of the float chamber. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. I don't know. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull. Maybe he was trying to make a point. Is there anything else we can... Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, all right. Well, how how you, how good are you gonna look when you get blown to bits, man? I'd seen more dead animals than right, live really ones, and now it was that. dog. I thought about. Now let's get out of here. All right. Let's see. Aha! Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but Fail. a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? Hmm. Eisendeller had used his dog's name as a password. The Tyrell brass wouldn't be too happy if they knew I was snagging a copy of their files, but someone Ooh. had wanted them bad enough to kill Eisendeller, so I figured they must be worth having. They probably are, dude. We have... Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. File access. All right, I guess we can head out now. Oh, lagging behind again. My favorite girl. Guza didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up She's on my. Charming. Own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. Uh, you know what? I'm going to end the video here so we can talk to her. And uh, when I come back, we will talk to her about the murder in her case. And I'm sure she we will be appalled by her uh, feminine demeanor. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Be excellent to each other. And I'll see you guys next time.